My name is Pete Capano, and I'm a candidate for state representative for Lynn in the Hot, the 11th Essex District. I'm running for state representative because I want to give back to the community what has been given to me. My parents came here in the 1950s from Italy, and I was born here in 1958. I'm married to my wife, Michelle, and have two kids, Dina and Stephen. I have spent my career standing up for my country and my community. As a member of the Lynn City Council, I have focused on making a difference in the lives of seniors, veterans, and working families. I listen to my constituents and fight for good schools, good jobs, and solutions to the district's persistent flooding crisis. With your support, I would like to take our fight to the State House. I proudly served in the U.S. Army and fought for veterans' issues. As chairman of the Lynn City Council's Veterans Committee, I've been very outspoken for the men and women who have served our great nation, including making sure veterans have access to the health care services they need by working with veterans groups on issues like PTSD awareness. And I work with veterans to help lead the fight to stop the VA from closing the Lynn Veterans Health Clinic years ago. I understand veterans face unnecessary roadblocks when it comes to rejoining the workforce. For instance, many veterans with experience in highly useful skills like nursing, steam engineering, truck driving, other, other trades are forced to pay thousands of dollars for certificate training and jobs they have successfully performed in the military. If elected to represent the 11th district at the State House, I will introduce legislation to close this loophole and ensure returning veterans receive proper credit for military work. I also know firsthand that crumbling in infrastructure, rising sea levels, and intensifying coastal erosion are causing a flooding crisis of increasing frequency and severity. As a Lynn City Council member, I advocated and fought for the combined sewer separation project to prevent sewage, and dra sewage from draining into the ocean and to provide flood relief for residents in low-lying areas of West Lynn. I held numerous meetings with the Lynn Water and Sewer Commission, the uh, FEMA, Ma uh, MEMA, and other agencies at City Hall to make sure constituents had an opportunity to speak about their concerns. The meetings aimed to highlight the importance of increased funding as means of alleviating burdensome, burdensome flooding costs. I know this. We can't fix it all on our own, but I will be a leader for Lynn and Nahant on this urgent issue at the State House and make sure I voices are heard when important decisions are being made. I also stand with the residents of Nahant against the Northeastern University expansion onto East Point and believe our priority must be preserving our community's fragile coastline. Nahant's unique ecosystems must be protected from the potentially disastrous effects of this expansion. I value our district's relationship with Northeastern, but we must consider each option in consequence consequence. One option would be to see what Lynn has to offer. A word on jobs. I know we don't just need jobs, we need good jobs, and I have the practical experience to make it happen. In 2016, as president of Local 201, I led the negotiating team that won over 300 new family-supporting jobs for our district by convincing General Electric to expand its operations and build its new engine lines right here in Lynn. This is the largest influx of new jobs Lynn has seen in decades. As the labor rep in the 1990s, I co-chaired the ECHO jobs team to research area employment and job training opportunities to help Lynn residents find jobs with a living wage, benefits, and a career path. That work led to the creation of the ET Machinist Training Program, a partnership of unions, churches, manufacturers, the Boston Machining and Tooling Association, and local and state elected officials. The program has trained hundreds of Lynn residents for work in the machine industry and as a model for job training across the state. I've been a union member and leader for 30 years. I know what working people are up against and the difference unions make. I have sponsored numerous city council resolutions supporting workers organizing their workplaces. I've sponsored bills to protect working people from wage theft by bad employers, raise the minimum wage, and lead the community outreach program to pass statewide paid time off legislation for Massachusetts workers. 
As the current elected president of IUE CWA Local 201, the largest manufacturing local in the state, I, I represent hundreds of working people at General Electric, Avis Budget at Logan Airport, Amatech Aerospace, Viola Water, and Saugus Library. I'm proud to have the support of a growing list of over 20 labor unions, including the Massachusetts AFL-CIO, which represents 400,000 hardworking men and women across the common Commonwealth. I'm a passionate advocate for high quality public education. I'm a graduate of Lynn Public Schools and have a degree from the University of Massachusetts. I'm also the proud parent of two public school students. My daughter Dina even continued on to be a Lynn Public School teacher herself. I've been in the fight to protect public education funding from the school voucher and charter school movement since the 1990s. I have continued to fight for education funding on Lynn City Council and would support the Massachusetts Fair Share Amendment. I know our ability to thrive economically depends on having a workforce with the skills employers need. I'm a founding member of the Lynn Community Enrichment Program, a partnership with the Lynn Public Schools in the area of employers that provide skilled vocational training in welding, oil burner technology computer skills and blueprint reading. I have try, tried to ensure that uh, the benefits of Lynn's revitalization are enjoyed by the entire community. I was instrumental in bringing together de uh, developers, the AFL-CIO Housing Trust, and the city of Lynn for an all-union built mixed-youth development on Washington Street that provides affordable housing and also a community benefits agreement that included a $100,000 gift to the Lynn Community Enrichment Program to provide night school services to Lynn residents. When a developer wanted tax breaks uh, 20 years ago to build a new hotel in Salem, I worked with a community organization, Neighbor to Neighbor, uh, to get guarantee that local residents would benefit from the new jobs created many years ago. I've been working on this issue for years. When the housing bubble burst, leaving hundreds of Lynn residents facing foreclosure through no fault of their own, I sponsored and fought successfully for the passage of the Homeowner Bill of Rights. The ordinance allowed over 150 Lynn residents facing foreclosure by the big banks to stay in their homes and work out in a more affordable mortgage. I have negotiated and worked with small businesses, large corporations like GE, to Market Basket, to the small corner shop. I have been in the middle for many years. I want to thank Lynn TV for allowing me the opportunity out to outline some of these issues. I feel like I have shown the leadership ability, have the experience and the passionate commitment for our district to hit the ground running at the State House and would love the chance to earn your support and your vote. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. My name is Hong Net. At age 15, I came to the United States alone from a refugee camp in Thailand with nothing but a plastic bag of belongings and a broken arm. Separated from my family during the war in Cambodia, I was taken in by my foster family in South Hadley, Massachusetts. With the support from my adopted family and the opportunity I was given, I obtained a bachelor degree in political science from UMass Amherst. After graduating from college, I was asked by the United Nations Development Program and USAID to assist the newly democratic Cambodian government in 1994. For over three years, I worked with the cabinet ministers to create policies on education, job creation, business development, and tourism. After returning to the U.S. in 1997, I taught immigration and citizenship classes to Southeast Asian students in Lowe and counseled gangs and drug-involved teens in Lynn. My wife Tara and I moved to Lynn in 1998, soon after we got married and bought our first home in this city, and have been living here with our children Anna and William ever since. In 2011, I decided to run for public office for the first time in Lynn because of my strong desire to give back. In my four terms as counselor at large, I have the honor of addressing a wide variety of individual concerns throughout the whole city and tackle top policy including budget decisions for the benefit of all residents. In addition, 
I have been able to help grow the city's economy and strengthen local uh, businesses. I also have been working for the Department of Revenue as a child support enforcement specialist for over 20 years to secure economic assistance for the children of the Commonwealth. I am proud to announce that I am running to be your next state representative, representing the people of Lynn and Nahant. I am confident that I will be a strong voice for the 11th Essex District, and I believe that I have the experience and knowledge to serve the residents of our district. I have used the many skills that gained from these experiences to serve the residents of Lynn for the past seven years. And I will bring those same skills with me to represent the citizens of Lynn and Nahan. As your state representative, I will work hard with municipal officials and my colleagues at the State House to advocate for funding to support education, public safety, health care, infrastructure, economic development, environment, and immigration issue. As a strong supporter of education, I will continue to work with educators to find funding to support programs such as STEM, robotics, and the arts in order to give our graduates a competitive edge in the 21st century workforce. I am committed to do everything I can to help fighting for funding for the needed of new schools within our district to take a burden off from our teachers and students. As I have made public uh, safety my top priority, I will continue to fight for funding to sustain the needed numbers of police officers, additional firefighters, and fire trucks for Lin and Nahan and the expansion of Nahan's fire station. I applaud the Lynn Community Health Center for receiving additional funding to combat an opioid epidemic. I will continue to advocate for more resources to reduce overdoses and to keep unlawful drugs off our streets. When the government step in to support business development, I will continue to push for infrastructure upgrades on the waterfront project, including the seawall and possible man-made breakers to alleviate flooding in Lin and Nahan. I also will help to find funding to support the return of communal ferry and additional pedestrian overpasses on the Lin Bay. In supporting the state's environmental policy, I will help to continue preserving our natural habitats and protecting all wildlife and sea life. That is why I against the expansion of the Northeastern University. As a partner of a new business providing daily healthcare to seniors, I see the struggles they go through with their healthcare costs and rentals. I will continue to work with organizations and my colleagues to ensure that our seniors and veterans have adequate, adequate access to housing and health care. On immigration issue, I will continue to meet with community groups and my colleagues by looking at case by case carefully and make recommendations to our representatives in Congress to support our new residents here and avoid creating new hardships by breaking up families. Among my other roles and activities, I serve on the boards of YMCA Metro North, Riverworks Credit Union, Lysol, Project Yes, and the Karana Center. I am also a delegate for the SEIU Local 509 to the North Shore Labor Council. I respectfully ask for your vote on September 4th. To learn more about my candidacy, please visit my website at votehong.net. Uh, follow me on my Facebook page at HongNet for State Representative or my Twitter at HongLNet. Thank you for watching and thanks the Lynn Community Television for giving me the opportunity to speak. Hi, my name is Drew Russo, and I'm a candidate for state representative in the 11th Essex District, serving Lynn and Nahant.
I want to thank Lynn Community Television for this opportunity to share a bit about myself and why I'm running in the Democratic primary for state representative. And I'm grateful to you for watching and listening. Our family's roots here go back to when my mother's grandparents arrived in Lynn from Lithuania over a century ago, looking for opportunity in America, which led to work in our shoe factories and General Electric for their children. In fact, my Nana raised two children as a single parent in West Lynn, thanks in large part to that good paying union job at GE. The Russos opened a small auto repair business on Western Avenue in the late 1950s, where my papa and later my dad fixed and sold cars for over 55 years. Thanks to the hard work and sacrifice of both families, my sister Sarah and I were able to graduate from St. Michael's College, the first in our family to receive four-year degrees. Going to St. Mike's instilled in me a passion for service, which was originally nurtured by the teachers and clergy at St. Mary's. When I finished my degree, I knew I wanted to give back, and so I headed to Detroit and spent a year living in community and working for social justice as a case manager and bag lunch coordinator with the Jesuit Volunteer Corps. There I worked with men and women who were homeless, suffering from addiction, mental illness, and the type of extreme poverty that we sometimes forget exists here in America. It was a grace-filled experience that challenged every core belief I had. My mind often drifts back to conversations with clients where I would be absolutely blown away by the enormity of the challenges they had endured. They needed so much more than the bus ticket, the hygiene kit, or the sandwich I could offer. The friends I made there gave me a passion for justice and a desire to work for the structural change we need to ensure that hope and opportunity is within reach of all of our neighbors and not just some of them. That's why I've spent the better part of the last decade advocating for causes and candidates I believe in, with the highlight being my work as District Outreach Director for former Congressman John Tierney, where we worked hard to meet the unique needs and challenges of 39 different cities and towns, including Lynn and Nahant. After my time in Congressman Tierney's office, a new and exciting opportunity emerged, that of serving as Executive Director for the Lynn Museum Lynn Arts Organization. Over the past three years, our talented staff and trustees have worked together to build a hub of arts and culture in our downtown, and one that truly values the contributions of all winners, whether new or lifelong, in positively shaping the community we call home. That's why my wife Patricia and I purchased a home in Pine Hill, and why I've spent the last 12 years of my professional life working either in or on behalf of people in our communities. And it's that commitment to service, coupled with a strong record of professional experience and civic engagement that compels me to be a candidate for state representative, to serve the people of Lynn and Nahant. I am committed to being a leader who works for social and economic justice, whether it is enacting policies that reduce income inequality, ensuring that all of our citizens have access to a quality public education, that workers have the right to organize, that our kids can live in safe and secure neighborhoods, that we have housing options that allow people to live with dignity in the community of their choice, an affordable, reliable 21st century transportation system that includes rapid transit and the restoration of the ferry service, solutions to the devastating epi opioid epidemic that prioritize treatment and recovery, and the freedom to live without fear, regardless of race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, or immigration status. I am committed to being a public servant who returns your phone calls, listens to your concerns with an open mind, and even when we may disagree on issues, promises to represent you with honesty, integrity, fairness, and respect. Our political discourse has become poisoned and rancorous. We see it every day in our social media and even at the highest levels of government. That is why we are so fortunate to have candidates in this particular race with reputations for bringing high standards of civility to public life. Together we are conducting a campaign that our communities can be proud of, and I know we will continue to live up to that promise. But the promise I really want to talk about is that which exists in our communities. I know it because I've seen it and I've lived it. I am who I am today because of the opportunities our communities have offered me and my family and I'm ready to give back in a new way as a first-time candidate for public office who aspires to represent Lynn and Nahant with fresh ideas as we work together to build a bright future for our communities. From knocking on doors in your neighborhoods or talking to folks while shopping at Market Basket or getting signatures outside the post office in Nahant, I know that we share a common commitment to building up our communities. We are filled with energetic and talented people who see our potential 
and are working to realize the great opportunity that exists throughout the district. I would be honored to have the chance to take your hopes, aspirations, goals, and vision for our community to the State House. To learn more about our campaign, please visit DrewRusso.org, see us on social media, stop by our campaign office at 47 Myrtle Street, or give us a call at 781-598-2018. I respectfully ask for your vote in the Democratic primary on Tuesday, September 4th. Please know that I'm going to work, keep working hard to earn it in the weeks ahead. Thank you for watching and listening.